Today, my friends, we're going to be battling every single elite boss at once. That's right, at round 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120, we're going to be fighting Dreadbloon, Lich, Blunarius, the new phase boss, Vortex, all at the same time. And to make things even more crazier, we're going to be going up against 10 times the normal amount of balloons. This is going to be wild. Okay, so if we're going up against 10 times normal balloons, that's already so many balloons, but I feel like we can just go ahead and just get like a door. Sada, this is Sada. Is Sada gonna be able to like pop balloons? Yeah, Sada is doing a pretty good job, but we already are like not doing that great, so you know we're gonna wanna get ourselves just a quick little Drew to the Jungle. There's so many balloons, like look at this swarm of balloons. The Drew to the Jungle already has so many pops, that's amazing. Considering that we're gonna be going up against so many balloons, like so many balloons, I think it's gonna be crucial that we get Monkey Town because that gives us more money per pop and eventually we'll sell this for an MIB. For now, we'll just try to save up and get a Monkey Town because in 30 rounds, we're gonna have to go up against all the bosses. So I need to, oh, I need to prepare for that. So Dread Balloon, so we need to make sure we have two categories to deal with Dread Balloon. We need to make sure that we have no buffs to deal with Lich, so we can't actually ever get an Alchemist. We also need to make sure we have Vortex, who's gonna stun our towers, so we need to have some backup and, like, towers kind of more around, so Vortex, because we you can't have them all clumped together, or else they're gonna get stunned. So I think we're gonna wanna have some stuff in the back as well, like a Blunarius, not a Blunarius, but something to stop, like, Blunarius leaks, because I am really worried that, like, Vortex will stun and then everything will get like just get out. We also need something that's gonna give us lives. Support Chinook could be kind of nice, but that's 10,000 for lives. And I don't think it's gonna do that much. I actually think it seems kind of hilarious, but I'd rather just get some marketplaces. It just gives us like a couple of lives, but it's also gonna give us money every round too. We're gonna need Paragons as quickly and as soon as possible. I think Boomerang Paragon is going to be the first thing that we want to get. The Boomerang Paragon is pretty cheap, pretty goaded, a lot of AoE damage, so I think that's going to be really nice. I'm just trying to get a couple of these farms down. We're making so much money, I just realized. Every single round, we're now just getting like, yeah, look, we already have 133 lives. Let's get Jungle's Bounty. Maybe we just go straight Spirit of the Forest. We have to, oh, we're almost there, because that's even more lives every round. So we now have Spirit of the Forest at round 26. Holy cow, 10 times balloons is crazy. 27,000 pops on this guy. We have one magic tower. I guess we can go for a primary, but I'd rather get like, can I actually just straight up get an MAD like already? Do we do that? I think we do that. I'm gonna go straight MAD, try to get ready for this. We're already cruising along, my friends. There we go. All right, we got MAD. MAD has no pops, but that's fine. 252 lives, so that's really nice. Also, just for safety reasons, just for safety, let's get a perma spike. Right? I have no idea what's going to be coming out of those gates. I think AOE is going to be really important for us. I hate to say it, but maybe the big, like, maybe popping off. Right? So, artillery batteries do more damage to bads and boss balloons. Main attack gains additional bonus damage to stun balloons. See, damaging. Oh, all artillery batteries do more damage to BAD and boss balloons. So maybe we just get like a couple of them out here and just like have them right here in this like little middle area. It's just nice AOE all around. I don't know if this is actually that good of an idea, but I feel like it could be pretty good. As soon as all of these boss balloons show up, which they're showing up in a couple of rounds, which is also crazy because we also are going to have to deal with like 10 MOABs, which I mean, we're more than ample for dealing with it. But on round 100, we're gonna have to deal with 10 BADs on top of all the boss balloons as well. So this is our little artillery battery zone of doom. Oh my gosh, look at how much money we have. That is crazy. Let's get like a nice anti-balloon gunner. I'm just gonna hope that we have nothing to hit phase boss, I just realized. I guess this guy can hit it. Boss balloons, oh my gosh, there's, oh my gosh, there's already so many of them. Okay. Oh, phase boss just got like annihilated. Use that. Okay, phase, phase is going down so fast. Vortex is being pushed back a ton. So this should be, okay, we're doing pretty good. Phase boss is taking a decent amount of damage. That's popped. Oh my gosh, look at how far he's getting though. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, push that back. And now phase, I guess I can just do this and I can just like constantly hit him with this. Okay. 
that was pretty good. Oh, wait, we still have Vortex is still alive? Wait, what the heck? Vortex is still alive? I thought we had all of them, but the Vortex just keeps getting pushed back. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. I'm gonna get a Monkey Wall Street and let's upgrade all of these to Central Markets. If I can keep all of, like, if we can keep the money just, how did these guys do? Did these guys go to 7,000? Okay, at least that did like nothing. I don't want to sell them, but it's really annoying. So I'm going to sell them. We definitely have to get a Paragon by next round, or there's, I don't think there's going to be a way for us to beat it. So let's go ahead and make ourselves our first Paragon. Let's, I think we have our Boomerang Paragon. Us, mm, Adora is doing pretty good. It's not Adora, that's Sada. What am I talking about? What am I doing? Okay, Glaive Ricochet. I don't think I'm going to be able to get like a high degree Paragon, unfortunately. I'd love to get a high degree. I'd love to get at least like tier 20. Is that possible? Can I dream of getting that? What's the best one to get? Probably middle path, right? We have so much money too. We could also start working on getting a Goliath Doom ship. Because that's also one that we're going to really want to have. I mean, we're going to want like all the Paragons. And I think we will be able to get all of the Paragons. The question is, will all the Paragons be able to pop all the elite bosses, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Spawning the bosses! Let's go! Okay. Oh, they, he's immune to primary, which is not ideal, but okay. Let's upgrade all... Let's use all of these so they can all get, like, a bunch of pops real fast. They're not getting pops. Alrighty. Let's just hope that we can get a tier 20 Paragon. Do we do it? Do we wait just a little bit longer? Just be a little bit more patient. Do I wait a little bit longer? I'm gonna get Glaive Dominus. Please be at least 20. 21! Yes! Yes, that's not great, but that's not bad. Like, it's that's awesome. Look how many pops that he's getting. He's blowing up on pops right now. All right, phase boss being taken out. Boom, boom, boom. How did the Lich get so far? The Lich got all the way over there, which is a little concerning. But we did it. We actually managed to beat the next wave. Wait, Vortex is still alive? What the heck? How are you still alive, Vortex? You're crazy. Okay, we have a million dollars. Let's start working on getting Flying Fortress. Which, Flying Fortress, we're just gonna put way the heck up here. All right, Spectre. Let's go ahead and get nice a nice Sar Bomba. We can also go ahead and get a Sky Shredder. And like we can now we can just get which one? I just put a sniper down on accident. Alright, let's go ahead and just get a bunch of specters. Alright, center pack on. Yeah, because look, it's twenty-five thousand dollars. So like we're pumping money into this paragon. Which we should though, because this paragon is gonna be like the main amount of damage or the main focus for us, I think. So what's the next one that we wanna get? Probably a ninja paragon. I think Ninja Paragon is going to be really, really valuable for us. So let's start focusing on getting that, I guess. But I guess I, I want more of these guys to be getting pops. <laughs> Am I? He's got over a million pops. The Spirit of the Forest was definitely the play. We have over a thousand lives because of the Spirit of the Forest. So good and so valuable. All these banana farms are also like coming in clutch. We're st it's starting to lag because we also have 10 times the amount of normal balloons that show up as well. So on round 80, we have to deal with like 10 ZOMGs. We have to deal with all of these other like crazy things. Super mines. I just realized I would love to get some super mines. I just don't know where I want to put them. I think we're going to be able to get a tier 40 Paragon because the Paragons actually level up like a big boost in power every 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So if you can get above those tiers like it's much much better to have all right we're on 79 we're about to go up against all the bosses all right here we go every elite boss around 80 hey we technically won but it's not over yet okay so now let's go ahead and get goliath doom ship all right above 40 maybe even 60 if we get lucky 36 man that stinks i want super mines and i know i can put it like right up here Thank you. Super mines. Let's start getting some big pops here. What is this lead noise? What is happening here? All right, where is the bombs like being ordered to drop? From here to here. That's always the play. And boom. Nice. Very nice. Let's go. 
All right, bonus it. All right, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. The Lich is still getting a little bit further than I want it to. Okay. Phase boss is down. Oh, they're all down. Okay, Lich is really the only one left right now. Lich just popped. Okay, nice. Vortex is always the last one, and I always don't even know Vortex alive because he's always just, like, hiding in the corner. He keeps getting blasted by us, which is, like, okay, I'm not complaining because that's great that the Vortex isn't much of a problem at all. This guy already has more pops than the Boomerang Monkey. Monkey Ace Paragon is in on to round 100. We're doing really well, but we have to remember that this is elite bosses, and they scale absolutely absurdly. So we definitely can't get our hopes up because around 120, we're gonna have to deal with over 100 million HP. So we need to make sure that we have Paragons ready. We, we need to not get lax here. I'm also down to just get a Ray of Doom. Like Cubism, Ray of Doom, pretty good. Pretty good. Nice pierce damage. It'll hit all of the bosses. I just think that'd be nice to have in general. So we've got a nice mixture. We actually have a lot of magic, but we have primary and military. So we have all the categories. Really, the boss that keeps getting the furthest is Lich. But, I mean, that's just Lich. What are you going to do? Lich always seems to get pretty far. Like, the bosses that are, like, guaranteed to get really far, I mean, FaZe is, like, guaranteed to always get far just because of the mechanic of it teleporting forward, which I do like. I think that is a very cool mechanic for it to have. But we need to start thinking about, do I want to get more ninjas? Do I care about it? I feel like you should always at least try to get, like, some kind of paragon, right? Which I guess is just all, let's just get sticky bombs. If you can get to 20 on solo, I think that's relatively respectable. Like, obviously, I think you can always do better than that. But I think that's the best we're going to be able to get. I can't click on that guy. Okay. What? I can't click on, like, any of those ninjas because they're, like, behind my money. Right there he is. He's being sneaky. Ooh. Round 95 with 100 times balloons. Spooky. Alright, do I just get Ascended Shadow? I'm gonna get, like, a tier 10. Like, I promise you. Oh, 23! Never mind! Wait, is that... H how did this ninja get higher than the, the Boomerang Paracon? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I barely put any effort in the ninja, and I got higher than the Boomerang Monkey? Okay, that's a little annoying. Alright, Wizard Monkey Paragon next, for sure. We might be able to... Okay, we can actually get the Wizard Monkey Paragon before round 100. Archmage... What am I doing? I need to put this guy up here. And then we can just get a bunch of these arcane spikes. All right. Oh, round 100. Let's go. All right, here they go. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That is so many Moabs. What? That's so many Moabs. Are we doing okay? We're doing pretty good. All right, drop bombs. Having just all of the AoE is just, like, so crucial. Okay, where do I want? Yeah, we're losing lives, but that's okay. Keep dropping big bombs on them. Dropping big bombs. Do I want to just go for the wizard prayer gone? Here, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Just, just more arcane spikes. Uh, where can I put? Okay. Look at all those moabs! Look at all that. Oh, so the vortex spawns 100 times or 10 times balloons. That is wild. How does this Arcane Spike do? Arcane Spike does pretty well, actually. Keep just getting them to, like, pop as many balloons as possible. Give them that camera detection. The more we can have for camera detection, that'd be amazing. Okay, I think we're good to spawn in the Wizard Paragon. Where did I put him? There he is. The Magus Perfectus. Above 20? 18! Dang it! That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Ooh, Lich is getting pretty far. Lich is getting pretty far. Okay. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Use big bonuses. Come on, take out th this. Okay, we got the Lich. But we have 10 rounds left. We're going to need every Paragon. What are we missing? Navark of the Seas. Obviously, Navark of the Seas is going to be very nice to have. We're going to need to spend all of the money that we have. Like, all of the money. Okay. Plus having... I kind of want the... Na I'm, I'm going to put the Navark of the Seas down here, actually. Are these guys getting any pops? Oh, actually, they are getting quite a bit of pops. Nice. 
Yeah, I don't. I want neighbor like this down here because we want them all to be as split up as possible. An engineer. We also want an engineer. I guess I'll put the engineer. Let me sell this and put the engineer here. We're around 117. Oof. Oof. That's kind of scary. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. That we're already at around 117. 118. Man. I'm gonna turn off auto start because I'm I'm I wanna make sure we are as ready as we can be to fight all of these bosses. Alright, round 19. Okay, that was it. So let's sell let's sell all the banana farms. We don't need any banana farms. We ended up having like a perfect amount of money, I think. Alright. Alright, Navark of the Seas. Oh wait, is round still going somehow? Okay. Yes, we got tier 20 on this guy. Let's get Master Builder. Okay, so we have Master Builder, tier 8, that's fine. Master Builder super poopy. Oh my gosh, Beast Handler. Beast Handler's pretty nice to have, I think. I think we want the I think if we can get a Gigantosaurus, I think that'd be pretty cool. We can put him right there. And so let's just <laughs> let's just get ourselves a good old one of these guys. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's seven total. That's expensive. All right. So there's the Gigantosaurus. Do we want to try to get any of the others? I don't really. I don't think the the Megalodon's that important. What else is really good? Sniper is gonna be pretty good. Cripple Moab. I want. Uh, obvious. Oh, we could have gotten a. Okay. Well, obviously, Legend of the Night is gonna be really nice. Mm, we can't get any buffs, right? So we have to remember that we can't do any of that because the Lich will just heal. So we have to be really careful about that. I can go ahead and just get another Master Bomber to add more damage as well. Inferno Ring is not too shabby. I'll grab an Inferno Ring. Let's get a primary expertise tower right next to the Inferno Ring, obviously. That's going to be really nice. And I still have a lot of money left. I still have a lot of money. I don't really know what else I'm going to be able to do. Ice Monkeys. Uh, if I can just maybe get like an embrittlement. I don't have a lot of room here. If I can get larger radius refreeze, I guess. Mortar monkey, let's just get a bigger blast, biggest one, Bernie stuff, put that there. I I think that's that's pretty much all the things that I can think of that we're gonna be able to use for this. We have every parag we don't have every paragon. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't have I literally don't have I'm missing a paragon. That would have been really awkward. We'll put this paragon down here. And we can also get another crossbow master, which is like a guaranteed tier 20 without needing to get any pops. Which is one thing that's so nice about the Apex Plasma. You're guaranteed to get at least a tier 30. All right, my friends. Every single elite boss, round 120. Let's go. Let's see if we're actually going to be able to manage this. Use everything. Oh my gosh. There's so much happening on my screen right now. There is so many things happening. Oh, we got to make sure that we're putting down the turrets from the this from our paragon our engineer paragon make sure we're using all abilities off cooldown every single one of them okay uh, another another turret all right where do we put this turret all right I put it down somewhere I have no idea where I put it no clue use the stomp I'm really curious to see who's gonna get like the most amount of pops at the end of this out of especially specifically out of the people like we just put down all right, Dreadblin's pretty immune. Wait, look at the Lich. The Lich is being pushed back. Why was the Lich pushed back? I don't know. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to be very happy that it is being pushed back. A lot of fortified BADs just got pushed out. All right, let's get some more, more boost in here. More ability. Spam every ability that we can. Immu All right, he's immune to military. The Dreadblin is right now. Uh, let's put this guy up strong. Man, we need to get him unimmune to military because that's kind of a problem. Looks like the phase boss is getting pretty far along on the track, which I'm not a fan of, to be honest. How's the guy, the guy Jantasaurus doing? 400,000 pops, not bad. Definitely a nice little addition to have. Let's keep using our wizard paragon, 24 million pops. That is definitely nice. Definitely nice, how's this guy doing? 91 million pops, holy guacamole. Okay, 
use this ability. Keep using our Wizard Paragon. I can't... Anytime you see... An... Oh, use... I can absorb one of the... I just absorbed Moa. I was trying to absorb a fortified BAD, but unfortunately that was not happening. Man, these bosses are getting pretty far. But they are taking quite a bit of damage. They are taking a lot of damage. How's this boss doing over here? The, I, the phase boss is really far along. Oh, I think he just went through his last his last push. At least I hope so. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting him. Drop more bombs. Look at how weak he looks. He definitely can blow up soon. I really hope that's his last phase or else we're in trouble. We're in big trouble if that's not his last. Come on. Come on. Man, he's like almost at the egg tricks. Yes, we got the phase boss. Okay, what else is left? Blunarius is still alive. Uh, we still have Lich Boss, and we still have Dread Balloon, it looks like. I don't know. I can't see Vortex anywhere. So he might be alive, but in the chaos, I have no idea what's happening. Keep using it. We're down to 1,400 lives. I'm so glad we had we er, got the early Destroyer of Worlds, which now has 6 million pops, can I add? And he's been giving us so many lives because, look, he's leaking 27 lives. It, it just leaks them so fast if you're not ready for it, which... Uh, okay, what do we have? Lich and Dread Balloon's down. One more left. And it's just the Lich. Lich is the only one left. Come on. This this is guy's been giving us... Oh, he goes into his phase? This might be the last phase. This might be the last phase, everybody. Come on. Oh, he goes through it again. He's so tanky. Oh, I paused the game on accident. I accidentally used... We did it. We beat every single boss. Let's go. That was sick. Look, 13 million pops, 130 million pops, 58 million pops, 58 million pops, 34 million pops, 20 million pops. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Huge shout out to Timothy for making the all boss at once mod and huge shout out to Graham Cracker for making the balloons multiplier mod.